Welcome back to the channel everyone. We are, uh, as you can see behind me, I'm not in Wisconsin anymore. I'm actually currently at Sean and Lori's, the uh, people that run the Herb Show, Sean Gray and Lori Gibson, the most amazing people in the whole wide world. And uh, in typical Venom Proof fashion, uh, this is my first uh, distance show in almost eight months. And uh, I got a flat tire. So uh, yeah, check this out. I'm gonna pull that out. Must have hit something on the way. Doesn't matter. It just never fits. No matter where I go, something's gonna go wrong, and it's always gonna be with my vehicle. So, on the bright side, it's uh, gonna be a real easy fix. We're gonna go ahead and just have them put a patch on this tire, and we'll be good to go. Uh, and also, you guys are gonna be excited about this. I am about to, while well, Alicia is going to uh, set up my, uh, well, Alicia's going to get the tire fixed, I'm going to be building the first. For all you people that have been waiting out there, it is finally here. We have the first non-venomous cage by Venom Proof Cages, or standard cage, or as we're calling them, the anti-venom series. Now I'm still have to assemble it, and this is the, the three-foot front. We've got two of them there, I'll be building here in a second. Super jacked, stick with us. We have an awesome show this weekend. I will see you guys. I'll probably show you once the cage is put together and the truck's fixed. Otherwise, I'll see you at the show. All right guys, we're at the show now. Truck's all fixed up, cages are all built. Uh, meant to film a little bit sooner. I had to come outside. There's a lot of people playing music. Didn't want to get them copyrights. So uh, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film with me talking and asking questions. I'll have to find spots where there's not music playing, but I'm definitely gonna give you guys a look. There's some really, really cool stuff here. Uh, I'm so happy to be at a big show. I'm happy to be down in Texas. Let's go check this shit out. Let's go check all this out. So all in all, pretty big show. Just getting around to the other side to check some stuff out. Seeing some cool stuff. Some uh, sweet bioactives. Work real well for like cresteds and small arboreal geckos. What? Let's, uh, let's get to the other side of the building, over where the venomous stuff is. That's what I want to see. But if you're in a non-venomous, and you're in uh, Texas area, this is the show to come to, because they have a wide selection like you. Check this out. So the coolest thing at the show yet, it's already sold, but my buddy bought it. Check this out. That is an Anery Snouting Cobra. These guys are pretty, pretty rare. The fact that this Anery is even cooler. Pretty low toxicity level as far as Cobras go. And the nice part is these guys only get about two foot full-grown adults. Pretty stoked to even see one of these. First one I've ever seen in person. <laughs> Just kidding. Let me tell you what, it always never ceases to amaze me. And whenever I go to a show where I can't buy anything, all the stuff I want is here. Check this out. Captive born baby eyelash vipers. Thank you. 
Oh jeez, guys. You're uh, probably wondering why the fuck I just did that. We'll get to that later. So, my buddy Chris Duncan from uh, Creative Exotics, Tracy Duncan, my t-shirt lady's husband, unfortunately was diagnosed with uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma. So, it's been uh, pretty emotional. He's a very, very good friend of mine. But uh, we all uh, decided that today at the show, we were going to shave our heads with him in support because he's going to fight this and he is going to beat this. So, I look weird for a while. I'm totally fine with that. It's 100% worth it. So, day two of the show is kind of winding down. I didn't get a whole lot of filming in. I did get some, so you guys have already seen all that. Uh, I'll try and go get maybe one or two more things filmed before the end of the day. If not, I will uh, close it up when I get packed up. Alright, so the show's almost over. I'm gonna go uh, have Tracy explain her cool cages and we'll probably close this one out. So come on, just a second, y'all. Alright, Tracy, tell me about your crazy, cool, awesome cages that you guys finally released. Yes. That you've all been waiting for. <laughs> so these are my picture habitats, as I call them. They are small cages that you can hang on your wall. Um, I like to say that they make living art. Um, you can use them for different inverts and micro geckos, um, lots of different small stuff. <laughs> Dude, yeah. you know what? I bet you my centipede would look really cool in one of these. Oh, you got some bugs in that one? Yeah. Sorry, I don't have the light on. But this one has my blue death fanning beetles in it. Those are pretty sweet. Yeah guys, so if you have something small and you want something that looks different, you can hang on your wall and create like a little piece of art, but yet it's living with your animal in it. Hit up Creative Exotics, call Tracy, tell her I sent you, yes. and get yours. All right, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. The show is closing up, everyone's getting packed up. I'm gonna go ahead and go get the little bit that I got left packed up, load it up in the truck and get headed out of here. Anyone new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you like this video, turn on your notification bell because I have a ton of crazy videos coming up. We do insane composure builds, work with all sorts of cool venomous, and I travel all over the US. You're not gonna wanna miss anything we got coming up. So until next time, you've been watching What's in Your Backyard. I'm Bill Chowner. I'll see you next time.